if I had been driving by this with my wife in the car, I think we went to see a movie over the hill or something. But as we were driving back, I pointed out the, the water towers. And I was like, see those two towers? I'm gonna ollie those someday. And she had no idea what an ollie was, doesn't know skateboarding, okay. And then uh, the day that I did it, I came home. I'm like, hey, guess what I did today? She goes, what? I ollied those towers. And then she said she just felt like she got punched in the gut. She was like, what, you did that? And you didn't even tell me? And I was like, what, I'm, I'm here, I did it, everything's cool. She's like, what if you died, you know? Well, I didn't, it's all good. I'll just uh, pull a car seat out so when you can fit in the back. Okay, thank you. So how far is, is the ride to the tower? Is it five minutes? From here, it's right up the street. So you could even skate here if you wanted to. Oh, okay. But uh, we'll go pull up. This is, this street leads to the 60 freeway. Mm -hmm. And all the spots that we wanted to skate, like if we wanted to go to um, Pioneer School, the one with those bumps, the one where we did like tricks over the car and stuff. That's all that direction, and then Chafee and Upland, all that, all those schools are that way. So every time we had to go to the freeway from the harbor, we'd drive by this, and the water towers are right off the street. So just there and back, seeing it all those times, you just kind of start wondering if it's possible. Yeah, we've been back in a few times just to check it out again, but uh, I don't think you can get up to the top the way we used to, but they're right here as we drive by. That's the first one and second one right there. So you can't park on that street, but you can park over here, so. Let's go check it out. If uh, I have a tape measure in the car, if you oh, think you'll we want it. Bring it. We okay. Bring it. Yeah. <laughs> you get nervous at all? No, because we were going to go film something else. It was me and Ty Evans. We were going to film uh, flat ground tricks for the starting point video. I was doing a how to video for Transworld, and it was all the, the basics. All stuff. Yeah, so yeah. we were going to film that that day. And then I got a random call from Sturt because I had showed him the spot. And he called me up like, hey, you ready to go do that thing today? Like, yeah, I got a filmer today, so we should go do it. Wait, so the day you did this, you were planning on just filming basics? Yeah, we were just, and we still did. After we did it, we went out and filmed uh, some more starting point stuff, some more flat ground. Afterwards? Yeah, this one was just, it was in and out. I think we were in and out in about 30 minutes from start to finish. And then uh, the cops started rolling up as we were coming out. And uh, as I hopped out that fence right there, See how there's like a T intersection right here? I just started walking up this way and the cop rolled up next to me real slow and rolled down his window. I just ignored him and kept walking. And then uh, he slowly went up and passed me and made a right. And then uh, Sturt was still stuck. His car was parked there and the cop pulled up right behind Sturt's car. And Sturt had a grappling hook in there on the front seat. So it was probably looking pretty suspicious. Yeah, with the fucking grappling hook. Yeah, by the time I talked to him again, he had already made it home and develop the photos. So he's like, yep, we got it, we got the shot. So. How's it going? Good, we had a question for you real quick. We were trying to do a piece for a skateboard magazine. Yeah. Apparently someone had jumped from one tower to the other a long time ago. No idea. Oh, um, we wanted to see if we could measure from one tower to the other and see exactly how far it is. No, nah, man, I'm sorry. Yeah? I'll let you guys in, yeah. Okay. They got you working to patrol the area? Well, no, I'm just, we're doing water samples. Oh, okay. Oh, so, yeah. How's the water around here? Good. It's good? Yeah. good it's chlorine. drinkable? That's right. Drink it all Not up. too much chlorine? Yeah. <laughs> How's the fluoride levels? Perfect. We're good? Dialed in. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. We could come back in spot. Yeah, we can wait yeah. a bit. Okay, we'll hang back and see what we get. All right, Jim. Ready? Yeah. When we first found the spot, there was a fire escape ladder connected to that tower. 
but uh, there was enough of the thing hanging down that you could run and jump off the wall, Jackie Chan style, and get a little extra boost and get just your fingertips on the bottom rung of that ladder. I mean, we can climb over that way and go in and try. Are you guys gonna hop in and try to get in there? So these guys are gonna be making their left up here. I don't see any trucks. Either way we do it, someone's gonna be stopped and watching. Right, you just you know what I mean? your battle, which one? Yeah, so I don't see any cops or trucks. Watch out, that, that brick's a little loose. See, that? yeah, that one's loose, so watch that. That first brick is loose. Here we have it. All right. It'll stay. So this one's got it. About 16 feet right there. Is that your longest ollie ever? No. Flat to flat, to flat. flat to flat? Probably. Yeah, the longest one ever was that one in the color video. It was a, uh, yeah. That was 19 and a half. So that's significantly further, but that did have a little bump to it, so, yeah. Do you see that? Where is that? Where's the mark? K5. Over here. How'd it do that? It, that? Nobody can, I don't believe it. It, that, it, it can't be possible. I, I don't, I don't I believe what I just it. saw. I don't believe what I, I just saw. saw it in the but I don't believe you what might. I just saw. Not for you. Look at these marks. Yeah, see, I walked around this whole side last time, and I never saw any way to get up. So we'll have to ask Tony how he got up. We but, got his number? Let's just call him. Yeah, we could try it. Yeah, what's good, Ian? What up? So um, Jeremy told me that uh, you went to the towers and took photos of them, right? Yeah, I climbed up there. I put a ladder on top of a tractor. What was the, how come you originally went there? Like, what was the thought? And did you think you wanted to try a trick or you just wanted to see the spot? No, I, I had intention of jumping across it or trying to flip it or something, do a kickflip or, I don't know. I, I wanted to skate it. But, yeah, I went there and that thing was way too gnarly. Jeremy's a fucking legend. So that's that, huh? That's pretty much that. I think that's all we can get. So if that's good, we should probably hop out. Yeah. In my mind, worst case scenario was if I come up short and I lock up, like when you come up short on a, a street gap, you're gonna lock, but you're gonna fall forward. The only way it could go really bad is if you hit a rock right before it, and then you just have to dive head first into it. There's nothing you could do. Once you're going fast enough to make it to the other tower, you can't stop before you get to the edge. Once you reach that certain point and you take your last push, nothing you do could stop you before you get off the edge. So you might as well just go all the way and make sure you make it to the other side. So from what I remember, it was five tries. And every time I didn't make it, I had to run and jump back. And running and jumping it back was way worse in my mind than, than ollie in it. Anything looking at it now that you feel like hasn't been said or thought about or? I always figured we'd come back and do something else on it. Because if you can ollie it, you can do at least a 180 and a backside 180. And I know if I can ollie it, that a kickflip is possible. Yeah, the only other person I know of to jump from one tower to the other was our friend Mike Escamilla. He goes by the name Roof, Rooftop. He's a BMX pro rider from around the area. He bunny hopped from one to the other. And he bunny hopped from my landing side to the other one. And I think they said they got his bike up with a rope, like pulled it up with a rope. And did you hear that someone tried it and, and died, or is that just a rumor? No, that's that can't be true, because we would have heard about it around here. So yeah, should be no truth to that one, at least not yet. Sick. Yeah. Sick, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. It was amazing. Cool. Was one of the most fun things I've gotten to film. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is a fun one, that, that place is wrapped. Do you want the mic back? Yes, please. <laughs> we'll do that.